<laughs> My back hurts now, I'm going home. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today we have some really exciting updates with Phoenix, the twin turbo C8 core, one of the fastest in the world. And we had her down for a while. I have a lot of you guys asking what is going on with the Corvette. So today I'm gonna fill you in all on that. And uh, happy holidays everyone, first and foremost. But before I go into detail of exactly what we've done, why don't we back her out? We'll go for a test drive. Make sure she drives good. She's on a three pound spring right now with no auxiliary fuel. And then maybe we'll just slowly turn up the boost a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got bad news. The good news is she fired right up. <laughs> bad news is we think the motor might be hurt. Quite possible. Sounds like something awry. <laughs> Should just be. <laughs> that was technical terms. <laughs> Let me try one more time. <laughs> We were just about to take this on a test drive, but the headers are kind of right there. It gets a little hot. So we're gonna leave her racked and cold so that we can check that first. Or we can just not. It's like going to the doctor and getting tested. Like, you could just not know. They're always gonna find something wrong, right? Yeah. So you just don't go to the doctor and then in your perfect health until you die. So with the amount of times that we have overboosted this engine, the amount of drag strip days we've done, the amount of abuse that she has taken to still be on the initial built engine, with just a few oil changes is amazing. We've always thought we've hurt the motor. We might have hurt the motor, but honestly, we're not down on power. She still runs and drives fine. So we'll probably do a compression test at a later date, but as of right now, we just want to keep working on tuning and go drive the car. So I'm going to hop in her. We're going to go for a little drive. We're going to see how everything looks and uh, I'll update you guys on everything we've done shortly after that. spin tires in one and two, so I short shifted those in case you guys are looking at that. These are the tires that I was doing a bunch of donuts and burnouts in for Choi's Huracan reveal video, so uh... <laughs> not a whole lot of tread on these. <laughs> oh my god, this car is so much fun. All right, all you coffee drinkers, this one's for you. I'm constantly trying to find ways to best optimize my time and when I'm half awake at 5.30 in the morning, the last thing I want to do is set up and brew coffee, let alone deal with all the cleanup. So with that said, I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Cometeer. Cometeer isn't like other coffee. Cometeer is a barista quality coffee brewed better through science and flash frozen to lock in flavor and freshness in the first 100% recyclable capsule. All you have to do is add eight ounces of hot water or cold for an iced coffee or even milk for a latte it's super simple. First, your glass. And for this morning, I'm gonna start my day by drinking Red Bay coffee. Pop it open and we're just going to add one of these. And lastly, eight ounces of hot water. And there's the coffee. And for my iced coffee drinkers out there, into the ice water. And voila, your iced coffee. Mmm, <sighs> good. I love that I can take Commenteer on the go without the need of special equipment. It is simple to use with little to no cleanup. And for a limited time only, Commenteer has a special offer for fans of the channel. Right now you can get $20 off your first purchase using my link in the description below. That's 10 free capsules of coffee and always free shipping. Thanks Commenteer for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get back to it. <laughs> Really? Yeah. And you gotta check out your light? Yep. Well, you wanna try again or that's it? Well, traction control kept kicking on. I was trying to do a donut. And we've done donuts in this car. Plenty fine. <laughs> 
guess now is a perfect time to tell you guys why we haven't been posting the Corvette. And it's because we've been doing a lot of testing and development for trans control remotely with Pites. And uh, it's been a lot of techie stuff, so we haven't really been posting much about it. But we have been doing other things to the engine. So let me show you what we've kind of done and what we've cleaned up. First and foremost, if you guys remember, we had a hairline fracture in the old intercooler. Pites sent us out a brand new intercooler. It's also been gusseted, reinforced, and back perch. So the welds are beautiful. They will hold. It's a very beefy intercooler. We cleaned out the DI injectors. So we pulled those out. And since we've been running leaded fuel and methanol through the port injection, at least we figured it's about time to clean those up. And we also reroute some of the PCV lines and added the reservoirs back in for the oil return system down here. Next up, we're probably gonna take her to the dyno so that we can continue to do more testing for the trans control. At the moment, we are on a three pound spring running no auxiliary fuel. And fortunately we've been able to do that with the Delta control module, which is the module we're using in order to tune the car. And three pounds isn't a whole lot, but the theory is with that control module, as well as the new one we've been running for Barrow, that we should in theory not even need auxiliary fuel because we can trip the car to be able to compensate for it, at least for you know, the first nine pounds. And after that, you'll probably need auxiliary no matter what. But long story short, we fixed and or improved some of the weak points of the car. Once we get trans control, we'll be back out there at the drag strip. But now that you guys have heard the update on the car, don't click off yet because I have a little bit of a surprise. I'm gonna do the thing right now. So something might've gone on the car. Okay. Do you see the leak underneath? What? No, but there is a gift here for you. <laughs> Just as a thank you for and hey, I had that. You already looked at it, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna share the dollar amount on camera, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a Christmas bonus as a thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. So that's for you, your family, and all that. Just as a little thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's your, it's for your four, first born F-150, your second, second born, born F-150, of... your third born Jimmy that you just bought. Uh-huh. And yeah. maybe for the kids. The kids could have top ramen. <laughs> <laughs> I had it the other night. And... That's not that bad. I'd ramen the other night too. <laughs> Love it. Daddy's got a race car problem. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Now on another note, let's see if we can tune the Bronco. You got the computer? Got the computer. <laughs> let's see because we don't actually know yet. <sighs> All right. Key on. It's just yeah. You don't even hear a gonna... fuel pump or anything. Whoa. 911 assist is not operational. Yeah. And then we got a full accessory power active. It's still reading. It's requesting. It might boot it. My truck did the same thing. Did it and it just booted at 50%? I don't think it's gonna read. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> 2021 2.3 4 liter. It recognizes it. It recognizes it. It's actually more than it did on my truck. My truck, it was like, oh yeah, you're funny. <laughs> 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 but your truck also compensates for the huge shot of nitrous you have. Except for it won't shift. Huh, I wonder where I've heard that one before. <laughs> I mean, it eventually makes the shift, but it like the one two shift, it goes first, and this kind of lays over. Second. <laughs> Could have gotten this in a manual, but all the off-road guys say the 10-speed automatic is so much better. The new automatics are so nice. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna read. Yeah, I don't think so either. Bummer. Let's see if it'll close. Oh, close. I like how the car tries to call 911. <laughs> We're trying to read it. All right, it was worth a shot. Well, we don't need a tune to jump it. The car tried to call 911 when we tried to tune it. Really? Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit, oh shit. Go on, 911 not operational. There is one more thing that I would love to get done on the Corvette today, and it's a common issue that C8 owners are unfortunately facing. So let me pull her on the rack, we'll get her up in the air, and then I'll show you guys. Since first getting the C8 Corvette, I have commented on the fact that there is no mesh grill or anything behind the factory grill. And a lot of people think this is a radiator. This is actually a condenser for the AC. Behind the condenser are radiators for the C8. So when all these fins close due to rocks on the road, you're not gonna get as good of airflow. You're not gonna get as good of cooling for the car. So I purchased brand new condensers for the C8 Corvette 
And on top of that, I also purchased these little mesh protectors online. It should just stick up underneath the bumper like that to at least help with some of the larger rocks. So we're gonna swap those out real quick. It's something that I've been wanting to do for really since I got the car and then I waited too long to the point where then I had to buy new condensers. Shout out to Matt from Rear Wheel Drive. We definitely just used your video in order to help us remove the front bumper on the Corvette. It's only three screws under here. Bucket load on, underneath. Yeah, this one here and then we're really worried about a screw here, but it looks like we can just pull this off and yep. it should pop off. You got it? Hey. The wires? Okay. Oh, no wires, no nothing. All right. Um, All right, front bumper removed. Okay, you throw the Ferrari stuff in the garbage <laughs> It's honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We were thinking about how to take the headlights out just a <laughs> moment ago, cause uh... So, so Jim thought ahead on that one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Going up. Yeah, about that. Like on the side here, you can see condenser and then you can see the radiator directly behind it. It'd be very easy for rocks to go right through both into the fan into the brake caliber, into the engine, and explode your car up. It happens really quickly. You found a fast pass? Really fast. I'm gonna guess it's 11 seconds. <laughs> you wish it was that good. <laughs> How bad is it? 17? <laughs> Bro, that's gotta be from your truck. <laughs> your truck can go faster than 63. <laughs> Ain't got my name on it. Oh, they were definitely overcompensating with this box. That little guy was in this massive box. Look how much nicer that looks. Pull it down a little bit, see the old one? Wow. Just a little airflow difference. Big difference. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, brother, that looks so much better. Those look sick, though. So this looks so much nicer. I'll be curious to see if engine temps cool down a little bit. Honestly, I don't think so, but it was something that was really bothering me since I procrastinated so long to get a little mesh protector that I just felt like at that point I had to replace the condensers because of how closed up the fins were. So we'll see, I don't know. I think it looks so much nicer now and it was something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. But I will say this has been an incredible year, such an incredible year with the success of everything we've been able to do with the C8 platform from the Z06 launch to the Motul billboard to everything. I just feel incredibly blessed and all of it's thanks to you guys at home. So thank you for watching and tuning in. As we're nearing the end of the year, why don't we do a quick little recap of this past year and just, um, you know, bring up some old memories and just see how far that we've all been able to come.
Damn, we've done some cool shit this year. So that was 2021 in a nutshell. I am even more excited for 2022. We have so many plans with the C8 Corvette. The Z06 is supposed to be arriving this year, assuming everything goes smoothly. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing the Mustang build. Originally, I was going to build a Coyote engine, but you know, plans have changed. So I'm really excited to introduce the engine that I'm probably gonna be picking up this week for the Mustang and Right behind me, we have the six second capable H pattern tick performance transmission that's going to be going inside of Trader the Mustang. So we got some big plans going with that. Got some great plans with this that I'm not gonna share too soon. Can't wait to get her tuned because she is ready to be driven. I think I'm gonna do one more video this year and then take a couple week break in January because it's been a long one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all are my family. E crew, we are out here with love. Bye. <laughs>